the entire story. In fact, uh, we'll come to that in just a short while. You remember how on the 5th of July, the Tamil Nadu president of the Bahujan Samaj Party, K. Armstrong, had been murdered in Chennai. Days later, a video emerged of an attack on a PMK functionary in Kadalore district. Today, we're learning that an NTK functionary named Balakrishnan was hacked to death by an unknown person in North Madurai. Now, this, of course, is the latest in the spate of political killings. Unfortunately, they're being witnessed in the state of Tamil Nadu. Lots of criticism also coming in from members of the opposition parties uh, about the state of law and order that currently prevails there. This has come despite assurances uh, from the ruling dispensation there that they have managed to keep a lid on such activities, that law and order remains under control. But several people belonging to different political factions and political parties, in fact, have been killed in the recent past. We have uh, Dharani once again joining us uh, for a perspective on what's been happening with respect to political killings now in the state of Tamil Nadu. Yet another political worker uh, killed, this time belonging to the NTK, Dharani. Uh, this incident happened today morning uh, in uh, Madurai district of Tamil Nadu. Uh, so, of course, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the deceased here is uh, Balasubramanian, who is a functionary of the Nam Tamilar Katri. Uh, he was the deputy secretary for uh, North Madurai in Nam Tamilar Katri. And uh, during his morning walk uh, today morning, uh, you know, unknown persons, they had, uh, you know, attacked them with sharp weapons. And as soon as the attack happened, uh, the accused, uh, the, uh, the murderers fled the spot is what we're given to understand. Uh, the uh, Madurai police, they are right now investigating uh, this matter and we're given to understand stand through sources that uh, personal enmity might be the reason behind uh, this murder. And uh, Balasubramanian is a history sheeter with uh, three uh, pending cases against him, including murder cases. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, of course, uh, this uh, murder that happened today morning, uh, this has happened in a prime location in Madurai, and we're given to understand that a police station is located just a few meters away from the uh, scene of crime. So this again raises uh, questions about law and order in the so, state. Uh, recently, only we saw uh, the Bhagavan Samaj Party state president Armstrong uh, getting killed in the state's capital and now we are looking at another uh, political functionary getting murdered in Madurai and although I know uh, the fact here is that the police uh, suspect a personal enmity in this matter okay. and not a political enmity. All right, uh, we'll wait and see as to how the investigations proceed. Uh, here's the Bharatiya Janta Party responding to the state of affairs currently prevailing in Tamil Nadu. One more political murder has taken place in Tamil Nadu. After Armstrong and the attack on the PMK functionary, now we are seeing that how an NTK leader has been hacked to death. This shows the deteriorating law and order situation in Tamil Nadu. 65 Dalits were also killed. Rahul Gandhi, Indi Alliance, none of them will open their mouth. This kind of failing law and order situation is the direct responsibility of the DMK Congress government. Crimes are rising, situation is getting out of hand, targeted political killing is taking place, but no word is being spoken by Rahul Gandhi. Now, the ruling dispensation in Tamil Nadu, led by the DMK, has countered the Bharatiya Janata Party. It is said that law and order in Tamil Nadu continues to remain far better than Uttar Pradesh, and the Bharatiya Janata Party only intends to play politics over the murder. That's the response coming from the DMK. So the DMK and the BJP, among other opposition parties in the state of Tamil Nadu, currently caught in a war of words. Unfortunately, the murder of this NTK leader uh, is not the first of its kind in the state in the recent past. There have been a spate of such killings. Let's, in fact, listen into what the DMK has had to say. The fact of the matter is the opposition in Tamil Nadu, that's the ADMK and also the minor opposition, BJP, are trying to politicize anything and everything. If you compare Tamil Nadu's law and order with, with BJP rule state, in terms of number of crimes per lakh population, we are doing much better than Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh. In fact, the crime rates in all seg segments have drastically reduced in comparison to uh, 2016-21, where Rapadi Palni Sami was the, uh, was the ch uh, chief minister. So that's the response coming in from the DMK. Uh, thanks a lot to Dharani as well for her perspective on the story. We'll take a short break right now. We'll come back with a lot more lined up on the other side.